Welcome to the Designing the Row Squarespace store setup series. This is just one video of many where I teach you how to set up your Squarespace store from start to finish. I'm Katherine Forbes, founder of Designing the Row, and I'm also a Squarespace expert, Squarespace authorized trainer, and Squarespace circle member. So if you are looking for help building your Squarespace website, you've come to the right place. Okay, we are almost ready to add this product to our store. Just a few more little things. So now we wanna customize what people are gonna see on that main store page. So if you've added several images to your item and maybe your product has a long name, we are going to kind of change a few things around so people, when they see it in your store, they see exactly what you want them to see. So you might remember in my item tab, I added a couple images here. In this options tab, I can select exactly which image I want to be the thumbnail that's shown in my main store. So I'm going to drag and drop this one in here. If you've only added one image to that item tab, it will default and add this for you when you save it. But if you want to maybe make sure that you're getting the right one in there or change it, then go ahead and drop that in here. And then for the product URL, if I were to just save and publish this, it would copy this Music Biz Besties T, and the product URL would be musicbizbesties.com slash shop slash music hyphen besties hyphen or music biz besties T, all with hyphens in it. Um, and that's just, I can't even say it out loud. So I am going to change it to T. I just want it to be musicbizbesties.com slash shop slash T. It's a lot to say, but it's a lot easier than the previous. So this is where you can customize that product URL. And use custom add button. I'm going to take this away. Well, I'll leave that. So, sorry, I'm rambling now. Once you have the thumbnail image and the product URL set, we are ready to publish your product to your store. All you have to do is hit save and publish. But there is another option. If you want to load this into your site, say you have an announcement coming for a new album and you want to get all of your products loaded in, but you aren't ready to go live with them yet, come over here to item and you can see right now our product is hidden. We haven't published it yet, but if I click on hidden, I can also select scheduled. So let's say I want all of my products to go live at the same time on Friday at 8 a.m. Just type, pick your date, type in your time, and when you hit save, this product will be added to your store, but it won't be visible to the public until Friday at 8 a.m. But if I want it to be live now, just hit this. Let's see what's today. Today is this day. Anyways, when I changed that from hidden to scheduled, it took away the save and publish. If you're not scheduling it, just hit save and publish. I'm going to hit save. And now you can see over here on this right side that that product has been added to the store. And when I click into it, you can see there is the t-shirt. I can click to see the other image. You can click to zoom in. And I can also see select my size. Let's see, I clicked the medium one. Black is sold out. So it just already tells me that. So you can kind of play around with this and see all your pricing and variants in action. You might remember I changed the extra large pink shirt to $18. So as people kind of click around, pick their size and their color, everything will just adjust right here for them. And then you can see here's our big pink pre-order now button and we are good to go. That is now live in our store. If this video tutorial was helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you have any further questions, you can leave them for me in the comments. And as this is a series, I will leave the next video for you right here. And don't forget that over at designingtherow.com, I have more tips and resources on how you can build and grow your online presence. 